Yo, what's up guys? How's it going? Welcome to another episode of the YouTube Yuan Shu campaign. Uh, having a lot of fun with this campaign. Uh, it's gotten hard. It's gotten very hard. So let's continue. We are at 77 turns in. This is the shape of my territory at the moment. Uh, you know, it's the, the difficult part about this is how I'm just surrounded on all sides. So it'd be really nice to just sort of consolidate my enemies into one area but uh yeah this is gonna be i'm actually gonna be recording here but very soon i'm actually leaving for gdq i'm leaving tomorrow morning and i have to wake up around like 4 a.m so <laughs> this is like last minute three kingdoms before i have to go uh anyway let's do it let's do it I think we had just finished like an absolutely ridiculous battle, if I if I'm remembering correctly. Like an absolutely ridiculous battle. All right. Uh, so our previously is this where we had just defeated this army? Oh no! Did I lose some progress? Oh no! Yeah, because this army was defeated. I, I beat this army. What happened? How did I lose progress? Oh, what a fucking bummer. I guess I lost some progress. Well, that's going to be a thing. Anyway, lost some progress. That means we get to refight some of these battles. Maybe I'll have my editor skip some of these. But then again, I mean, I might also lose some of these battles. <laughs> so, I don't know. So, wow, that really sucks. That really sucks. Well, in the meantime, uh, I guess we'll just uh, continue as normal and hopefully we can rebeat this. I guess I'll continue going anyway. Yikes, that really sucks. I think I know why that happened. It's my fault. It's I'm pretty sure it's my fault, but oh well. What are you going to do, man? I'm not looking forward to redoing this absolutely ridiculous battle um why well, so what's i remember the last time i did this i got annihilated by their crossbowmen and i don't know why it happened or how to avoid it i'm not sure what to do about that maybe i should just protect the interior this time on this battle because i, I there nothing they had damaged me except their crossbowmen so i don't know what to do about that Well, I guess the answer is to like, let them come in, let my cross and when, whenever I get a chance to actually attack them. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't think there is a good way for me to deal with their crossbowmen. Ugh, I'm really not looking forward to having to redo these battles. <laughs> oh, in any case, um, let's see. Well, this is where they have a shitload of their crossbowmen. It's amazing to me how their crossbowmen will outrange my guys. I'm really tempted to guard this center, but I don't think that's going to work. All right, well. I'm going to have to decide what to do regarding uh this video whether i want to make you guys watch this super drawn out annoying battle again or whether we just want to say all right fuck it i'm gonna have to figure that out anyway we're just gonna continue as normal um if we want to draw them in literally as much as we possibly can and try to let my towers do a lot of the work Put him here. Last time I also got charged pretty hard by some cavalry. I think it was one of their generals or something. So we obviously don't want that to happen. Uh, and I guess let's uh, start the battle here. Oh, what a bummer. What a bummer.
if we can avoid maybe with this battle will go easier for us if we can just avoid some of these really really insane losses we were inflicted on last time maybe that's going to be possible So they're all making a beeline over here. I think we're getting shot by their crossbowmen. Let's go ahead and pull this unit back. There's no reason to let them get shot. We're going to take some bad shots in the back here as we try to run away. yeah this is this is why this is me getting annihilated by three units of crossbowmen all at the same time pretty much exactly i think what happened last time which is really fucking bad it's exactly the kind of shit we don't want to have happen but what do you do what do you do right Looks like we're going to be spared a really bad cavalry charge here, but difficult to say. Um, all quiet on this side. Nothing going on over here. That unit that got really messed up is getting uh, got routed just now. We also lost this tower, which is annoying. Uh, some of their men are routing. Yeah, us losing our tower is pretty bad here. A number of their men are routing here. Let's go ahead and direct our fire at their crossbowmen. If we can silence their crossbowmen, uh, the sooner the better. Alright, let's try to recap. We're going to try to recapture our um our tower here and then hopefully take out these uh crossbowmen well i mean i don't think we even have time if we just sit here and take shots we're gonna get annihilated okay looks like we killed that general as well um, looks like one of our saber militias is routing. Let's go throw in this one over here. I think it looks like our crossbowmen on this side are getting some nice kills. Uh, looks like these men ran out of ammo. Let's go recapture this tower real fast. Have them to just let this all play out, but there are a number of crossbowmen here, and uh, this tower will help us quite a bit. Kind of tempted. Let's actually put some arrows into these guys over here. I think. All right, so we recaptured this tower. I think now we can just pull our men back and let the tower do the work. They've also run out of ammo. And no matter what, their their crossbowmen are gonna get their kills. Like no matter what, honestly, it's hard it's hard to deny them those kills. Um, I'm not sure how I won this in the past, but I'll say this building is burning. Still getting kills, archer militias, these guys. I'm not sure how we won this in the past, but we're going to have to do it again.
Hey, we're going to put some arrows into these guys here. I don't want to spend too many. All right, that should be good. And if I'm not mistaken, I think we want to fight as much as possible here. Because this tower in the center has a lot of coverage in a lot of different areas. So our goal is to fight there. They're still shooting routing men this tower. You really have to command your own towers here. Otherwise, uh, they just won't shoot the right things, unfortunately. It's kind of how the towers work. You would think they would shoot the most immediate concerns, but that is not the case. All right, so we destroyed this unit, destroyed this unit. Uh, we're going to go ahead and move back here to defend the town center. All that's left is this army on this side. We're going to try to put our archers with ammo a little bit farther back so they don't take unnecessary crossbow shots. Are we still fighting over here? Good lord. What's their melee toughness? 27 melee power? I guess they have pretty decent melee toughness. I should stop underestimating these crossbowmen. I kind of want some crossbowmen of my own. Apparently they have crazy range and kill power and they're not, they're not even that bad in melee either. So they're going to literally take as long as possible to burn our towers here. The building's on fire. It's going to go down pretty soon. Uh, it looks like here they come. A lot of this army is garbage. Um, the scariest thing are the crossbow shots and potential cavalry charges. That's what we need to worry about the most. Looks like we finally routed the stupid unit of crossbowmen over here. We're going to layer them behind these archers without any ammo is the plan. We're going to do that. This building just burned down. Okay. Well, we've more or less even the score. I wonder if I could bring these guys all the way around and surround them. That, that sounds not likely to me. Would, it would be funny to see. I think that's their crossbowmen. We're taking shots over there. Let's go ahead and try and pull back. Draw them in a little farther. We need them in melee range. Honestly, I'm probably just taking by trying to maneuver my guys. I'm probably just taking unnecessary losses, to be honest. All right, our archers are firing. Looks like they're going to try to burn this tower as well. That's pretty interesting. I wonder if they'll be able to do it. I don't think they did that on my last time I did this. Many of our archers are firing right now. All right, if you're going to shoot your arrows, can you please not shoot at like a G militia? We got uh, several general units to shoot at here. Oh my goodness, they actually went this way. Wow, I was not expecting them to go that way. Oh, that's a thing. A lot of flaming arrows coming in. 
some of my men have routed uh let's go throw in the rest of these men over here oh wow well they weren't attacking so we didn't get charged um but one of their general units is over here All right, if we can get our, our archers to shoot into this blob, that'd be really nice for us. There's a large blob of uh, archers and units over here. of my buildings is burning well i can't tell if this is going better or worse oh it looks like everybody has run out of ammo somehow this battle seemed to have gone worse than previous ones i'm not sure what happened but this one went worse man i'm i'm really annoyed at how this all worked out it's my fault but well it is what it is it's pretty much like an, it's pretty much like one of the episodes i filmed like didn't happen <laughs> which is very annoying this uh gong shan is just never going to route here and we're just in a knockdown fight. They also burn. If this tower didn't burn, that tower would be getting a lot of kills here. But this tower was not burned. This guy is unbreakable. We knew that from the previous episode. Oh, well, shit. All right. I guess I, I mean, like what stopped me from just reloading and trying again, right? I mean, I really would rather not do that, but I guess I could do that. And there's all kinds of issues when it comes to like recording shit for YouTube. There's so many issues that you would never like when it's on Twitch. It's like, whatever, you just kind of deal with it and roll and stream on. What is with YouTube is like, it's never, it's never easy. On Twitch, it's very often easy. On YouTube, it's literally never easy. <laughs> Always something stupid happens. Always something stupid. This time, lost an episode's worth of uh, content. None of their men are routing. What was it that went different in this battle, I wonder? We're just gonna, I guess I'm just gonna roll with it. I guess I'm just gonna roll with it because I really don't feel like refighting this battle. I'd really rather not do that. And this uh, archer captain has pretty decent melee toughness, I'm noticing. Nothing extraordinary, but pretty cool. Looks like this unit, Gong Xian, is finally kind of wavering. All right, so we're going to lose this settlement. Uh, believe it or not, I won this battle last time. Well, I guess you could, I guess you've seen if if you're watching, you probably saw the episode yourself, right? <laughs> You'd have you saw it happen. I wish this guy would just fucking die. Why won't you die? Yeah, numbers are actually relatively even, but I think the major thing that's going to be the major difference is, is the generals. The general units are going to be a massive difference here. All right, we can bring these troops over here to help. Um, not sure what kind of help it's actually going to be because I think we've just lost. But uh, we will do our best. Gonna get some nice close ups. My sword militia just charged this archer militia. They should make short work of this archer militia. And over here, we're just gonna grind it out. 
we'll never i'm pretty sure we'll never kill uh their general this uh unbreakable general guy I don't think any amount of fighting will, will help us overcome that deficit. Are you not fighting? Are you just standing there? I mean, if we're going to be, if we're going to die, we may as well all be fighting, sir. Hey. I try to get my men into the side of this G militia. I kind of doubt we're going to do it. Looks like we killed a general. I it probably wasn't this one. This is mostly like archers and shit. And yeah, this is mostly archers and nothing to concern ourselves about. Um... Fury of Bay High has a lot of melee power. That G militia has gotten 47 kills. Yeah, that unit is going to be the difference, unfortunately. Boy, I wish I had some leftover. Uh, really wish I had some leftover arrows or, or you know, one unit of crossbowmen would have been nice to snipe their general here. It's been fantastic. Oh, I mean, this is it. We have all of our forces are committed. We're no, there's no way, and we've well, a lot of our men are routing. We'll just have to see how it goes. You know, you win some, you lose some. <clears throat> yeah, that's it. <clears throat> Yuan Shu is uh, on his way. We can go try to retake this area. Um, pretty sure that's all we're going to be able to do here, though. <clears throat> Are these guys coming back? No. They're shattered. <clears throat> well, at least maybe we'll kill a few more before we die. Certainly did a lot of damage, just wasn't enough. Maybe we should have, maybe our mistake was not fighting them within the walls. Maybe that was our mistake. I don't know. Well, what's funny is that in the previous time I did this battle, I got like cavalry charged at one point. I don't know. I think it was just our towers were just more effective. So it was probably, it's probably a matter of um, wanting to keep the fight in front of your walls. Yeah, that's GG. These guys fought bravely, fought to the death for the most part. Valiant defeats. Oh, well, I'm just eager for this turn to be over because I don't have to repeat content and I can just move on. I'll probably get my editor to take a look at this and remove some of this or something since uh or maybe we can give a quick summary and show i i don't know we'll have to do something though a little bit of a bummer well we gave it we gave it to him pretty good we killed their general as well we gave we get we actually killed two of their generals and we sidelined a number of their units but just wasn't enough I can't believe I did that. I need to, uh, I need to stop. I, I know, I know exactly what it was I did wrong. Uh, Hanfu is asking me for shit. We're just going to reject it. I don't want to make him my vassal. Um, because I don't want to get drawn into more. I don't want to get drawn into a war with Cow Cow, especially right now. It would just be so bad. Well, that was a nice, like, waste of, like, 20 minutes or something. <laughs> just repeating this battle. I did not need to. Oh, well. Okay. The thing is, I thought I'd saved a couple times, too. We lost Lo Young. Um, yeah, wow. He, he lost a lot of satisfaction there. Interesting. This city is besieged. Uh, how long do they have turns? Or how long do they have supplies? Uh, turns before garrison will run out of supplies. One. Well, I mean, it's a very, very large army. As we know, because I did that giant battle. This army is on its way. 
we're gonna send this army to go deal with this bullshit over here i wonder would force march get me anywhere i don't think so so we're gonna send this army to go retake loyang we're gonna send yuan shu this way to uh go help out with at loyang take a look here diplomacy faction developments zhang yan's doing a bunch of garbage we lost trade with gong Du. that's not good and he is unhappy all right uh well such is life all right looks like um we're on our way up here with sun Sei. we were chasing down liu bei i think liu bei has more or less vanished i wonder where he could possibly be is that is that him I think that might be him all right, this is a garbage um well it says i have a thousand men let's actually do this battle because liu bei is close and I, I really i have to preserve my men and my forces as much as possible so. if i just if i let them even take 200 men for me that's an advantage i can't afford to throw away all right oh that was weird okay uh we have our trebuchet let's go ahead and put that up front uh pretty much standard siege procedure here let's have these guys ready all right and we'll begin the battle they may come out and try to fight us they the ai does that sometimes in sieges like this where they're at such a disadvantage inside the fort not too concerned about their forces yeah here they come i kind of suspected honestly uh let's go ahead and move some swords to the flank swords to the flank move our some cavalry over here and let's move some more cavalry over here gonna put these guys on fire at will Uh, let's make sure our trebuchet is firing at the right targets. Whoa. <laughs> Man, when the AI likes to get bunched up right in front of the entry of their of their castles is when it gets really bad for them. Pretty sure no matter what we were gonna get charged there so <laughs> oh well trebuchet is up to 582 kills it makes you wonder what <laughs> god that's a pretty grim sight, isn't it? Pretty fucking grim. This trebuchet is extremely accurate. <laughs> it's pretty, it's pretty fucking accurate. There we go. Well, it didn't take too long. That's why I take control of the battles myself sometimes, just to minimize my losses and to go the extra mile on the AI. Six hundred. And 67 kills on the trebuchet. That unit of Rapid Tiger's got a nice 32 kills too. Missing that one little charge. That was a Saber Militia they were fighting. Eh. 24 losses. That was the that was all of them. Go ahead and occupy the city. 
What was this city anyway? It was a salt mine. So there's Liu Bei. His forces have recuperated slightly, but they're still uh there's um they're still very weak. Oh, it looks like Yuan Shu leveled up. When did he do that? Uh let's see. Starting ranks, eight instincts. He really has not much instinct. Uh, let's go ahead and give him this one. Let's go ahead and give him meditation, the for unbreakable. It'd be nice to give him a lot more resolve. My authority is insane. It is, it is ridiculous how much authority Yuan Shu has. Truly ridiculous. Uh, can I give him something else? Ooh, the officer would be quite nice. That gives him plus four authority. Well, I mean, is, is authority maxed out? I wonder. It's, well, it's almost maxed out. That one enables the loose formation. That one's minus four. Oh, wow. The eunuch gives you minus 5% corruption. A little bit of uh, Varus from Game of Thrones over there, huh? We could give him this. This would give him plus four authority. What is he using right now? This is for instinct. That's not all that great. This will give him more instinct plus more satisfaction. Let's go ahead and give him the stone axe. How about you, Lady Fung? Plus two expertise, plus four authority. Um, it actually might be nice to give her the military instructor, um, just for the formations for the archers and stuff. Okay. So I think we're going to repeat the ridiculously large battle we had by instigating it the exact same way. Oh, hang on. So we have, hang on. We're going to cancel. We may have to move our, our, our men into force marched over here. Maybe now they'll join in. There we go. Okay. So this, uh, we had to march forward just a tad more. We're going to get our reinforcements here. They've also got the reinforcements. They have 3,100 men and I have, uh, I have about 4,000 men. Is that how much? Yeah, I've, I outnumber them. We got about 4,000 men here. This is about a 6,000, 7,000 men army. Let's go ahead and start the battle. Large battle. Mm. Well, at least we get to have a really large battle, right? At least that's that's our, our solace. It won't be too annoying having to repeat this, I guess, but... Man, it always sucks to lose your progress. Basically, this episode is going to be repeating lost progress. <laughs> and that's not good. All right, let's do it. Start the damn battle before I piss myself. So we're going to have a massive amount of reinforcements arriving very soon. These crossbowmen. I'm curious to see what the cross, what kind of kills the crossbowmen get. Okay, all forces. Well, it's going to take forever for all my forces to arrive. We'll have to. Uh, we'll just make do. Not to mention the trebuchet. We'll probably fast forward it. Although I need to, I need to be aware of, uh, cause they're also gathering their men. So I also need to be aware of that. All right. My men are on their way. Let's go ahead and form up. Uh, 
Uh, let's see. Let's move our cavalry, some cavalry here. I don't have a ton of cavalry. We're going to have to use them to good effect here. I should, what I should really do is I should really, um, I should really retrain many of my forces. They, they really need, um, especially like the cavalry in this army really needs to be retrained. Uh, they're just raider cavalry. I need better cavalry. Move this guy back. All right, so we're going to be waiting quite a while for this battle to uh, to commence. Because it's going to take forever for our men to all get in place. We also, there's lots of things we can't see. That's our line of sight here. But I would not want to be facing my army. <laughs> even, if you, even if they manage to do a lot of damage, they have... They have basically no hope of winning, honestly. <laughs> very, very little hope of winning. I, I distinctly remember this ridge. I distinctly remember that one. I'm going to check out those crossbowmen later to see what kind of damage they did in the battle. Uh, I'm sick of crossbowmen. I think of looking over and realizing I, I had I took a thousand losses to one unit of crossbowmen. Looks like uh, they're advancing. It's a little bit sooner than I'm ready. Uh, we may have to hold them off. Okay, let's uh, form up some spears here because they have uh, a lot of cavalry on this flank. Can I group up these guys? Go ahead and make these guys group too. Is she in a tired or something? As they're exhausted. It's like all of my men are arriving exhausted. Oh, I guess we could have just sat back and wait for, wait for them to come to me, but we're going to be more tired than they are apparently. Trying to stagger my infantry a little bit more. Are all my archers on fire at will and no skirmish? All right, they should be firing at will. All right, number of their troops are moving in. Have a large cavalry attack on this flank. Let's go ahead and shield wall these axemen.
we got more forces coming in let's go ahead and shoot this general One of our uh, unit, one of our G, our G militias just routed. Okay, kind of messy. I seem to recall the previous battle being uh, last time we were here. That was also kind of messy. Let's go spring this cavalry in action. Most of my army hasn't even arrived yet. <laughs> Still letting him have it. Where's the uh, archers, archer militia, crossbowmen? Where's the one repeating crossbowmen anyway? Okay, let's go ahead and get these charges in. We're repulsing attacks everywhere. All my, all these archer, all my cavalry are just so exhausted. Apparently, I don't know how they got so exhausted, but apparently that's the case. Some of the generals have died. Um, pretty much just running down archers at this point. Alright, we're gonna have to pull back over here. We're gonna pull back our forces on this side. I want to uh, reform a battle line. To reform a battle line so I can try to deal with this. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna be successful in doing that. Let's try to kill this general. That was a nice charge. They got these cavalry into action. Routed that unit. Uh, let's reform our cavalry on this side. Taking a uh, heavy, heavy archery on our left flank. Are we, are we fighting here? We are, is this ours? No, it's not ours. Well, that was foolish of me. We've been taking losses here for nothing. I think for a while. We've been getting attacked from behind by this unit of spear guards. We've been doing nothing about it. We're getting attacked here by one of their one of their generals' bodyguards. This poor unit of cavalry has been shot more than I know what to do with. I'm just I'm never over there for some reason when I'm uh, when I'm forming up my men. Not a particularly clean battle for me. It's been a pretty, pretty nasty battle for me. I think all my men are mostly out of ammo as well. 
Have my repeating crossbows gotten no kills? Get out of here. Really? Not a single kill? I guess their range is really short, but come on. Have they really never been in range this whole battle? You guys better get some kills here. Here, at least shoot this general. Do something useful, right? Okay, we're chasing down their uh, their massive cavalry here. That shouldn't last them much longer. <laughs> what are they? <laughs> are they shooting? It didn't look like they were shooting at all. One kill? What the fuck? I, I think I maybe need to get rid of the repeating crossbowman, dude. <laughs> how did how did the AI crossbowman just do so much better than mine ever do? I guess this unit of crossbowman got a lot of kills. Whatever. Go ahead and claim victory. Not a fantastic victory, but at least we kind of we've kind of repeated everything that's happened in the campaign previously, except we didn't win that one battle. My goodness. <laughs> What's with the repeating crossbowmans, man? Uh, kill me or release me? We'll go ahead. Why not release this guy? And this guy will execute. <laughs> I, like, I like releasing some of them. Others we can execute, though. All right. Um, looks like Chang Yi has leveled up. Uh, we can go ahead and give him. Let's see. What do I want to give him? More influence, some cunning. Represent melee for all shock. Let's go ahead and give him vengeance. I'd really like to take some time and retrain his army. Let's repair everything in Chang'an, or in, excuse me, in Luoyang. And I think that's all we can do. We're on our way to go retake uh, the trade port at Luoyang. And then afterwards, we'll be exactly the way we should be. All right. Ugh. We are good to end a turn right now. I'd like to not spend money where I don't need to because money's pretty tight. It'd be so nice to wipe out these Dong Min forces. It'd be so, so nice to do that. Very soon. End a turn. It's like Liu Bei is still running away from me. So I, we shouldn't be at war with Zheng Jiang. I don't think we are. That doesn't. That wouldn't stop them from attacking us right now. But I don't think we're at war with them. I think we're at peace. Any more armies running around? Oh, man! I'm so bummed that uh, I had to repeat all that. That kind of that kind of took the wind out of my sails tonight. But it is what it is. Tao Ying is offering us peace. I would love to take that. Who are his enemies anyway? He's enemies with the Duchy of Zong, Han Tong. You know what? Sure. Sure. I will give you peace. I don't know where you are or why we're at war, but I will give you peace. Okay. Peace treaties, diplomacy. Uh, what do we gain? We gained a guard. Cool. All right, let's go ahead and pop him out of this stance. This army is still on its way to go retake Luoyang. 
I'm going to greatly enjoy punishing them. <laughs> like I said this in an earlier episode, but I wish there was a way you could like go above and beyond to torture your enemies or something. Like I want to go, I want to go a little Ramsey Bolton on some of these guys. All right, what should we grab? We could, if we did this, we could unlock. I think that unlocks Spear Warriors. You know, getting some better cavalry would be so nice. What is this? what is this? Peasant Raiders. That's not what we want. What is this unit? Jade Dragons. Now that sounds very good. Is there anything we can unlock now? Any units we can unlock? It looks like no. Um, there's an income from industry, 25% building upkeep. Um, what does that unlock? That unlocks repeating crossbowmen. Well, in my experience, repeating crossbowmen are terrible. Heavy repeating crossbowmen. I don't know. I don't know if I'm using them poorly or what. Maybe th maybe they're just... They just need to be used in a very specific way, but I am not impressed with them so far. Is that 10% replenishment? That would be so strong. I don't see anything that would be an, an immediate advantage to me. Aside from more income, etc. Eunuch secretaries could be nice. If we did that, we could get... What is this unit? Saber cavalry. That could be quite nice to get one of these. I really just want better units right now. More trade influence could be nice. Let's just go this way. We're going to go... We're going to go this way. Garrison conscripts for now. Not super sexy, but... Uh, our plan for the time being. All right, how is this army? This army is ready to go. I think Liu Bei went this way, so we're gonna we're just gonna continue to press our advantage here. Yeah, there he is. We're gonna go try to take Anding, and we're just gonna give Liu Bei no place to hide. This army is on its way. Let's go ahead and put them into force march to get them there just a little bit sooner. Um, it'd be nice. If I wanted to go there, it would be quite a bit. Uh, Yuan Shu's retraining. Not really much I can do about that at the moment. Some of his units got pretty banged up. Um, could I potentially retrain some of these units? Let's see. What could I, could I swap these units into anything? Looks like really no. It's either saber militias or what have you. So really there's nothing I can do, but in the future we're gonna retrain that army and make them make them much better. I need to unlock more forces, is pretty much what it boils down to. Uh anything else I could do. No, I think that's it. Uh well we're still just kind of cinching our control over the north as much as we can here. Uh, hopefully we can remove Liu Bei from up here completely and destroy him. And then finish getting our revenge against, uh, the Dong troops. Cao Cao still hates us, but soon... Is that... Is this really all belong to Sun Jian? My god. That's kind of, that kind of happened in my previous campaign as well, yeah. Sun Jian owns... He owns a lot of China, let me tell you. He owns a whole bunch of China. He owns more than I do. All right, let's go ahead and uh, end our turn. There's not much we can do. But the entire Southeast is kind of always, the, the entire Southeast of the campaign map, it always seems like it rolls over for Sun Jian. Like there's never any fighting there. Well, it looks like Liu Bei is coming to attack me at uh at this settlement i guess i have nothing but to do but to start the battle it says that they're gonna win a, de a decisive victory oh uh, we'll have to wait and see what what kind of victory they're gonna win they're pretty beat up they do outnumber us we also have the advantage of towers 
We'll wait and see. We're also pretty beat up. Uh, let's see. It'd be quite nice to like, if I could isolate and kill one of them, it'd be really nice. So that would be four men over here and then these three here. So all the, they have a force coming up this side, but this is, there's like, there's not even any of their generals here. I think we should focus all of our attention over here. If we do that. Um, if we kill the generals. We can demoralize and pretty much route the other troops before these even get here. So I think that's going to be our play. We'll let them get nice and engaged with my arrow towers and uh, then we'll start picking on striking at their generals. I have no archers, but I do have cavalry. There's Guan Yu. I don't understand how they even escaped the previous battle. I'm not sure how they did that. Uh, so let's go ahead and shoot these guys. Their archers are so weakened, they won't do too much damage to us, but it'll, it'll still be annoying. Okay. They're pretty nice and committed here. Bring in my cavalry on this side. Oh wow, I didn't I didn't realize uh Jiang Fei had come in here. Imagine if we just killed all the generals. <laughs> You know, it's it's not a completely unlikely scenario. Let's just try to surround them on this side. Nice rear charge on this G militia. We just routed them. Those Yi archers are running. Liu Bei route or die, I wonder. Wan Yu's got five men left in his general's bodyguard. There he is himself. Four men left. It's like he's going to fight to the death. How is this Yi archer unit still shooting at me? <laughs> is what I would like to know. I don't know what that unit did over there, but they're just bleeding men and I've done nothing to them. <laughs> Can't blame me for that. I didn't kill any of you guys. Eventually, we're going to pull Guan Yu down over here.
Is Jong Fei still a horse? Yep, Jong Fei is still here. He's still fighting. Oh, Fallen Osworn. I think that must be because we killed Liu Bei, I guess. I mean, I think we're just going to have to fight these guys and grind them down. Juan used down to two men, but where he's fighting. <laughs> is he still alive? Yeah, there he is. We're slashing at him from all sides. Did he just kill two men with one swing? <laughs> Oh, it looks like we took down, um, looks like we took down Zhang Fei at least. So now we're just have Guan Yu and the other forces. I think if Guan Yu dies, that'll be, oh, there he goes. <laughs> Whoa, is that his beard sticking straight up? <laughs> That's so silly looking. Well. Well, we, I think we killed all of the, uh, we killed all of them. Yeah. We killed them all. Well done, men. <laughs> I guess it just leaves these. Confident friends routing. I think these guys aren't going to make it very close to even one of my towers. They've already lost a huge number of their men just walking outside here, I think. Are these my men? Oh, these are my civilians. <laughs> yeah, I think those I think those are my civilians running out. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah, I got some bodies out here of their soldiers. Uh, die when they strayed too close to my towers. Uh, probably a decent cavalry charge would be enough to kill them. I don't want to really leave my walls. Maybe they'll come close enough to me if they, I don't, I don't know. These, uh, these kind of lengthy sieges are starting to wear on me a little bit. <laughs> Liu Bei honestly should have just ran for the hills and just regrouped and remade his army instead of running around like an idiot. We kill, I think we killed all the brothers. Okay, here they come in. The, the detail on the banners is really nice. I like the way the banners flow. All right, towers are resuming fire. It looks, it literally looks like arrows from God. <laughs> Just fall from nowhere. Ever. Let's have a shoot the Saber Cavalry. Saber Cavalry is probably the biggest threat. If you want to command these towers, you can just click on these symbols in case you don't know. Click on the symbol and then you can just right click whatever unit you want and then the tower will obey your commands. It obviously is not uh, incredibly accurate, but the towers do make quite the difference on the battlefield. Sometimes you want to make sure you're targeting the right thing like a general unit or something. That has been the difference between life and death for me a few times. Oh, 
I love that they all routed. <laughs> that was such a stupid battle. All right, do we kill? I hope we get. I hope I get Liu Bei, Guan Yu, and Zhang Fei's weapons. I hope I get them all. Yeah, Liu Bei died, then Zhang Fei, and then Guan Yu was the final one to, to bite the dust. What? Oh, we captured him. If I kill him. <laughs> oh, man. Why would I let you live? Execute. Oh. See you, dude. Oh, we got Guan. We killed Guan. We executed Guan Yu and we stole his weapon. <laughs> <laughs> this will make a fine addition to my collection. So far, Kong Rong is the biggest, the biggest asshole there ever was. I really want my, uh, my trade port back. Lu Zhang still running around there. Oh man. Ugh. All right. Uh, you know, for whatever reason, it looks like income is up. We gained the green man 50 charge bonus. Good God. That's crazy. This weapon is actually insane, isn't it? Plus 18 instinct and expertise. My God. I called for the execution of this one's oath sworn kin. They will not soon forget. <laughs> yeah that's a that's one way of saying i fucking killed your your brother all right let's save our game uh i'm gonna go ahead and stop the recording there thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys for hanging out while we played i'm sorry i lost progress but you know shit happens uh territory is looking really wonky right now but this is the current state of the map 80 turns in we're going to save our game i don't think i've been saving either i think i haven't been saving Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys later. Bye.